Everywhere, a show designed with women in mind. I am your host Nan Gill and today our guest is Cynthia Marsh Kroll. She's the project director at Women's Enterprise Development Center. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me. So today's a great show for women. It's about a program that's offered in Orange and Duchess and we, we, we Westchester. Serve, yes, we, we, uh, we actually service, uh, my territory is Sullivan, Orange, Duchess, Ulster, and Putnam. Okay. And then our main office in White Plains uh, services Westchester, Rockland, and that area. Okay, so we have a wide range of, of locations that you can get this a service from. And they're here to help you develop your small business, complete a business plan, and grow a su successful company, and much more. So you want to tell us a little bit about your programs that you offer? Sure. Uh, I really like being involved with the Women's Enterprise Development Center. Uh, you know, you can get business counseling, free business counseling from a lot of different providers. Right. What's, what's different about us is that we're a women's business center. We're about women's entrepreneurship. Now we right. help everybody, but primarily we're, we're about women's entrepreneurship. So when we're looking at how we're going to structure our programming, it's with that in mind. Right. So we have a lot of different things that we can offer people. We have free one-on-one -on -one business counseling. And um, that's where I cover that range from anyone that's in those counties right. and our White Plains. Now, what were the counties again that you I, covered? I cover Sullivan, Orange, uh, Duchess, Ulster, and Putnam. Right. So, and what's the website if they want to get in touch with you? Sure. It's www.wetsybiz.org, and that's W-E-D-C-B-I-Z.org. Okay. So they can go on there and get your phone numbers and find out how to get in contact with you. So if anybody's interested in starting a business or if you started one and you you do certification also for women Correct. In business. If you Correct. want to get certified as a woman minority it's it, it minority women business enterprise MWBE. Okay. And uh, we also have something else that we're helping with too, which is really exciting. It's a new designation, service disabled veteran operated business. Okay. So which I think is wonderful because we're we're able to help, you know, those that have served our country and be able to help them be able to take advantage of a certification. Okay, so tell us a little more about your programs. So we have the free one-on-one -on -one business counseling. Uh, we do subject matter workshops. We have like all-day ones, say on things like QuickBooks okay. or marketing and sales. Uh, you know those types of things that are resources that are going to help somebody grow a business. Now these are workshops that are online, or are they the, workshops in per, in that person. you go to. They're, yeah, they're in person, uh, and those usually with the top topic workshops can range anywhere from about three hours to all day, right? Depending upon you know which, which program it is. We also offer webinars. Okay. So we, we it's kind of like a lunch and learn type thing because they're an hour and it's like twelve to one, and we, regardless of where you're at, you can come because you don't have yes. the issue of being able to to travel. So we have webinars that are very you know very good, and we also have a copy of the webinar on the website afterwards that if somebody who missed it oh, would like okay. to go back and look at it, you register to watch it, and then you can go ahead and watch the webinar after it happens. And you can just register right on your website for Correct. these webinars. And where do you hold your workshops? Now, those get moved around. I hold them 
because I cover such a wide right. range. Uh, my workshops I've, I've been holding in either Orange County, I've been doing them in Dutchess County, I'm setting some up for okay. Ulster County, so that it gives people the ability from the different areas to, to take advantage of those workshops. Our White Plains office will uh, have things that are in Westchester County, Yonkers. Uh, one of the other things that we have which is amazing is our flagship 60-hour program. And that is the A to Z's of running a business. Okay. So you go through this class, you write a business plan, and then what's really great is at the end of the program, you give a presentation to a panel. It's not Shark Tank. It's <laughs> okay. Well, it's, that's it's, a good it's, thing. Yes. It's it, nobody would do it. Um, it's <laughs> it's constructive feedback. So that we have people on the panel like bankers, uh, current business owners, successful graduates. Uh -huh. uh, we also work with um, partners with SCORE, SBDCs, and, and so on and so forth, because we're also partially funded by the SBA because we're women's business centers. So they're partners with us under the SBA. And there's no charge for these workshops? There's no. And now, it depends. The 60-hour, we do charge. Okay. Uh, we charge $250 for that. Right, which is nothing. Which is really hours. nothing for, it's actually 60-plus when you add in uh, some of the other stuff that we do uh, during that program. We do charge for the all-day subject matter workshops because I have to pay a subject matter expert to show up on a Saturday okay. from 9 to 4. Okay. So those we charge forty nine ninety five. Okay. But the one-on-one -on -one business counseling is free, the webinars are free, and okay. our shorter workshops are free it, most of the time. Uh, the other thing that we do that I really like is we have this program called Path to Entrepreneurship. So I say this is the intro for the tire kicker. If somebody has an idea, they're like, oh, I think, I don't know. They're not really ready to develop a business right. plan. They just think that they may want to start a business. We run these pretty regularly in, in both areas, you know, from both offices. Right. And it's a two and a half hours. And it gives somebody a taste of what's involved mm -hmm. in owning a business. What's the pros? What's the cons? What are the things you have to think? What's marketing? Right. What's, what's you know, financing? What what is you know what's projections what you know what I mean kind of just to give them so some if you're basics. thinking about starting a business and you have an idea you can go to one of these what's it path to on path to entrepreneurship okay and and I like that because before you you don't want somebody to go into the sixty hour class that isn't ready right and get overwhelmed so the path to entrepreneurship is a great way to introduce somebody to business ownership. The other thing that we have in our 60-hour program, and again, you know, we're building our programs with women in mind. We as nurturers don't tend to take care of ourselves, which means we're going to do a lousy job running the business. We're not going to, you know, we're going to have well, conflict with our family. Well, <laughs> Well, let's put it this way. You, you, you'd be happier if you help them feed you. And you're more productive when you when you, you help feed you. Yeah. So one of the things that we have in our 60-hour program is we have, um, like, a successful mindset tools right. for feeding the entrepreneur so that as they go through this process and they start ramping up and they're working those long hours and needing that stamina right. to be able to build a business and get it off the ground for that first, you know, year, then two years, and three, right. to get to the point where you're really, you know... <laughs> is what are some of the things that you can do to help yourself right. be successful that you're nurturing yourself or, or doing things for yourself. Uh -huh. And I think that that's an important component. The other thing that I really like is we have different events that we do down out uh, that is, you know, sponsored and, and, and held down in the Westchester area that's designed for women. In, we, we network differently. You know, yeah. we do business differently. So these events are geared for women to, to connect, to network, to meet other women, and be able to grow their sphere of influence and really be able to connect and, and grow. So uh, you have these networking events mostly in Westchester? They're down, yeah, they're, they're primarily but down in Westchester. Can go. Anyone can go to these. And the other thing that's nice is you can register for a workshop, or you can register for one workshop, multiple workshops, check out our website webinars. The, the idea is we want to make it accessible to everybody right. so that they can get what they need to be successful. Because we can help you from being an idea to starting to sustaining. Right. 
And that's where the topic uh, works And basically, come in. if you're interested in anything, if you go onto the website, and then you can look at the past webinars that they've done and see if anything sparks your interest. You can sign up to go to one of the pathways or right, path, path to entrepreneurship. Path to entrepreneurship to see whether or not um, your idea is viable and if you're really what you need to start a business. And then they have the next program, which is the 60 hour class, which gives you the nuts and bolts of starting your own business. So there's all kinds of, uh, and the networking. And, and the other thing too is, um, I'm with, what I'm doing is I'm really trying to work with existing women's groups. Mm -hmm. So over, so my office is in Poughkeepsie, so the Duchess Chambers over there, they have the Women's Leadership Alliance over there. So trying to, I'm on their committee and, and being involved with them so that as we have different uh, organizations, New Paltz has, uh, it's WOW, I think it's a women of wisdom, I believe, but these different groups, and over here in Orange County, I know there's some different, there's the MWBE committee over at the Orange County Chamber, and some, some other ones are in the works, so what that does, as opposed to me, because it's just me at my, you know, Dutch's right. location, try to run these, these networking events, I'm trying to tap into what are people already doing, exactly, and then I'm, I'm using that as a way to share that information on our social media, or share it in an email blast, or something along now, those lines. Do you lines. have a Facebook page? Yes, we do. Okay. So if they go put on uh, put in Women's Enterprise Development Center, we do have a Facebook page, and they can see we put the events up there. Uh, we have different graduates and stuff that will put different things up there. Uh, if we have resources that we come across that we think would be valuable, we'll put those up there. So we do you we share the events of the other women's groups up there? Yes, if they if okay. they give us information or a flyer and say you know can you can you pass this on? Absolutely, cool. and we'll we'll put that up there because my thing is we want to give everybody um, access to grow their network, resources, and connections because that's what's going to be the way you're going to find out what you need to find out or get connected to who you need to be connected to to grow your business. Right. Right. So what type of businesses have some women come in with um, that you've helped them with? What are some we, examples? Well, our center uh, started uh, actually in July. Okay. Okay, this location. wetsy has been around and, and, and doing this since the late 90s. Right. Uh, my particular, so we're, we're just finishing up our second class now, uh -huh. and, and I love it because we have a lot of different kinds of people right. between the two classes. Um, we've had people that are making specialty products, Okay. all right, whether that's um, clothing, uh, pocketbooks, things of that nature. Then we also have uh, people that are in the current class that are food. That's mm -hmm. another big one. You get a lot of people that are looking to get into either baking or they want to take a hobby and then ramp it up into a business. Right. We have uh, people that come through that could be service-based businesses. We get retail locations also. I have a one, we, we have some gentlemen in this class, and one of them's a barber, an existing barber shop in, in Port Jervis, and he's really looking, he's a, a new business, and he took it over, and he's really looking to ramp it up. Um, we so are, if you have an existing business, you can come to you to learn how to make it better. Better. Okay. And, and the thing is, is it doesn't matter what stage of business you're in, you need a good solid road map. Right. And that's where that 60 hour really helps you hone in on what do I, where do I want to go and how am I going to get there regardless of what stage of business you're in. Right. A lot of people will ramp up and go without that business plan, be running a while, they're on a hamster wheel right. and they realize, you know what, I need to take a step back. You need a plan. Right. I need to take a step back. There's more involved than I anticipated and I really need a road map to be able to be successful. Right. And we can help them do that. Okay. Uh, the, and the subject matter expert uh, type, the subject uh, topic workshops are great because those are really geared for people that are already going. 
Right. So you need to hone in on tightening up your marketing. You need some help with some sales skills and networking skills. Right. You need some help with QuickBooks. That's a great way for somebody to be able to do that. And one of my, the, the workshops we have coming up that I'm really excited about that you have on that list is our trade show expo boot camp. Okay. Over the years. Oh yeah, I should go to that. Yeah, over the <laughs> over the years. Um, um, part one is on May fifth, and part two is on May nineteenth. Good idea. Yeah, and we just we just finished over at the accelerator in New Windsor this morning. I just did an MWBE. You know, should I get certified and and what's involved over at the accelerator with. Uh, Lynn Semetti of uh, PTAC, the Procurement Technical Assistance right. Center, and we're going to be doing a part two where she's going to be over doing a procurement and how to actually leverage that on, um, I believe it's May 26th. Okay, well everything's up on your website. Okay. The other thing is I put together that Entrepreneur to Employer webinar. Okay. Because when we're working with businesses that are trying to grow, right. say people getting certified or, or trying different markets or ramping up their marketing or whatever may, the case right. may be, the, the hopefully the organic outcome of that is you're going to have to hire people because right. you're growing. Exactly. So it's a very big leap to go from being a solopreneur to hiring people. Right. So this webinar is a wonderful opportunity to kind of give someone, again, like your path to entrepreneur, a, a one hour, 12 to 1 webinar overview of what are the things I have to think about if I want to hire somebody. Right. And all of these webinars are on your website. Correct. So even if you don't get to go on a certain date, you can, can pull go them back up and, look at, and look at them and see. This is great. Okay, and you do work with getting certified for an MWBE. Do you Correct. want to talk a little bit about the advantages of being a um, minority women business entrepreneur certified? Sure. What, what the biggest thing with that is that any state monies, okay, yep. that has a goal attached to it, all right? So if it's a state agency, if it's an authority, any of those, they have to use, or the, the goal is that they're supposed to use 30% of their vendors. Okay. Need to be MWBEs. Okay. All right. So what does that mean? You're trying to do procurement, which means selling to the government. Right. Okay. So you want to sell to uh, a, an agency, and you want to be top of that list. That's going to put you on the top of the list. Okay. All right. You still have to go through the bidding process. It doesn't guarantee that you're going to get the contract. Now, the other part of that, because some people would be like, I do X, Y, and Z. That's not going to help me. There's a whole other level to this. Right. Which is subcontracting to primes that get money. Right. Okay. We're partially funded by Empire State Development. Mm-hmm. We have to use MWBE vendors. Okay. <laughs> We're helping people get certified, and we have to use MWBE vendors as a nonprofit receiving state money. Right. Okay. So if nonprofits are receiving state money, they're going to have attached to that MWBE goals. Okay. So that you can go after what I say primes is a whole other market yeah. that you can work with. I have someone right now. Um, husband and wife that's in a team that's looking to do photography and have a studio and, and everything, they want to work with nonprofits. Right. So having that certification is a really good opportunity mm -hmm. for them to, to be able to, and he's a minority, so, so it works out, there's no issue with the husband being involved, um, that they're able to look at having that and then soliciting nonprofits. Yep and being able to be part of that. The the other thing is if someone's looking to sell to municipalities, they don't have a, the specific goals per se, but they're incorporating that into into what they're doing when they're doing their purchasing. Another thing is, is that it's there's a lot of different options for there's different markets. There's a lot markets. of advantages. Now, how long does it usually take to get certified? The the doing the application once you get it in because the governor upped it from 20 to 30 percent, okay, they got a bit backlogged. Yeah. So it can take anywhere from nine months to a year to be processed. Okay. So it's not going to be overnight. Uh, however, the one advantage of working with an EAP center, because we're partially funded by Empire and what State. what does EAP mean? Entrepreneurial Assistance Program. Okay. So, okay. And you are an EAP P center. Okay. All right. So and so it's White Plains. Wetsy okay. has two. With the, that okay. location and my location. Uh, and what that is, is we're kind of like a, a partner. 
with ESD, right? Which is ESD with Empire is State Development. Sorry, okay. when you get into this, you get into acronyms because <laughs> otherwise you'd be yes. Sorry about the acronyms. Uh, so anyway, what ends up what ended up happening is that they they needed some way of being able to help be able to meet this goal. Right. So what we have with them is you work with an EAP center and there's like 23 of us or 24 of us, I forget the exact number, across the state. Okay. You get expedited. So if you come work with us, whether it's my White Plains office or me, right. and, you, and we go to submit your application, you get expedited. Okay. All right. So that'll speed it up a bit. That's not the same as being fast-tracked. Right. And fast-tracked is when somebody else already has vetted you. Uh-huh. And you're certified through another agency or another okay. organization. Yeah. But we can help speed it up. <laughs> right. Okay. A bit. So that's and that's the, an and advantage. is there any charge for your assistance? No. The certification's free, help getting certified is free, and recertification is free, and it lasts three years. Okay. Good. All right. And there's all kinds of advantages and all kinds of webinars that you can go and check some stuff out. And you can sign up for one of those PATH to entrepreneurship programs right on the website. Yeah, everything's there. And it, when they go to the website, all the upcoming events are on the sidebar. Okay. And they're color-coded. So you can see which location there they are. And okay. we have our Spanish program also. So that's all there. So we're, whatever the person's looking for, it's right there. Tell us a little bit about your Spanish program. This is wonderful. We have the Spanish program uh, down in the, in the Westchester area, uh, and that is the 60 hour is taught in Spanish. Oh, okay. And, and various workshops that are done in Spanish and the Path to Entrepreneur are done in Spanish. Okay. Which is amazing because we didn't want language to be a barrier for someone. Right. It, we wanted to teach them in their native language so that they, we would make sure that they're, they were absorbing what we were trying to teach. Right. And, and then we can work with them from that point to be able to work within a community and, and so on and so forth. But it's a great way to be able to give them where they feel comfortable, right. where they can communicate effectively, and then a message is not lost into what we're trying to teach someone. Right. Well, that sounds wonderful. So, well, tell us a little bit about your background, how you got started, and how you got involved in all this. I've been, we moved up to, I'm originally from Central Jersey, okay. and we moved up to Orange County about 18 and a half years ago. Um, I had a career at Computer Associates, and I was married in September, and found out I was a mommy in April. Oh, <laughs> So, How long ago? Uh, my daughter's nineteen. Okay, so, <laughs> so a while okay ago. yeah. So so we remember these things as if they're they, yesterday. yesterday. <laughs> and so what ended up happening was that's what I I had to make a choice. Uh huh. Was I going to spend my time on my career? Right. Or was I going to back off of that and spend the time with my daughter? And growing up in a single parent household, that was more important to me. So that's what prompted us to move because Central Jersey is expensive. Right. And that's when we came up here. But I made a, a real effort to keep my skills up because I knew how difficult it would be to get back into right. the workforce when you take a break. Uh -huh. And I had been with a tech company that I was staying on top of any trends, any technology. So I didn't want to lose that edge. Right. Well, what ended up happening was I was doing some part-time stuff and one of them, they they were like, you were making less and less money. And I said, mm, I want to do something I've been else. There. <laughs> right. So I sit there and I said, you know, this isn't working out. And I was really good at business organizing and processes and all that stuff. Everywhere I went, I ended up being the trainer because I would figure out how to do stuff. My brain just works that way. And that's when I decided to start my own business organizing company that's been in business for 10 years. Okay. And as part of that, I used to um, run the program. Well, first I was a graduate of the program when it was at the Orange County Chamber of Commerce. Okay. And then... And say the name of that program. Again. That was the Entrepreneurial Assistance Program also. Okay. And what happened was I was a graduate of that program, and then the person that run, ran the program at the time was was going to have to 
transition out of that and find a replacement, and he recommended me. Okay. So I also ran this program at the Orange County Chamber of Commerce for over three years. Right. Well, that's when I met you, because I actually took that program. I did. Yeah, and that, that, was, that was an amazing experience. It really was uh -huh. wonderful. The, the chamber no longer I recommend that. the program to everyone, by the way. It oh, was thank very you. helpful. It, I tell you, and what I like about Wetsy uh, is the curriculum that Wetsy is using. And well, this explain way. to everyone what Wetsy is. Yes, the Women's Enterprise Development Center. Okay, okay Sorry with the acronyms again. <laughs> um, if I didn't, I'd be saying <laughs> sentences would be this long. Uh, with Wetsy, is I really love the, the, the curriculum that they're using. I find that it's very comprehensive. It's designed for implementation. And the materials are excellent. Right. So I really like the when I came over and started working for the Women's Enterprise Development Center. I was highly impressed okay. with what they so had. So what are some of the things that you study when you take this? Well, you're going to go over uh, legal structure. Like okay. you know, that's very important. Should yeah. you be a sole proprietor? Should you be a limited liability company? Should you be a regular corporation? Right. What should I be? Right. And if I'm going to do this, what should I be? Then we also talk about things like insurance. Right. What types of insurance do you need to protect yourself so that you don't lose what you're working so hard to get? We spend a lot of time on marketing, uh -huh. marketing research, because if you don't have anybody in your funnel, you're not going to make any money. Right. <laughs> if people don't know, like, and trust you, yes. they're not going to pay you. Right. Okay, so we spend a lot of time on marketing. We also spend a lot of time on cash flow. Okay. All right. And what that is, is that's the money coming in and the money going out. And where businesses run into a problem is they don't do a good job of projecting how much they're going to have. Right. And then managing it once they have it. Uh -huh. So that we spent a lot of time there too because your marketing is what's going to help you get customers. And then once you've got the customers, you have to manage everything. Right. We talk about operations in that, mm -hmm. uh, business communications and presentations. So what, what, you know, how do you properly do emails? How do you properly give a presentation? All those types of things so that when somebody goes to implement the plan, they have what they need to be right. able to move forward. They have a really clear understanding of what's involved with running the business. They have projections and they have a, a clearer picture of what they're going to make, feasibility, sustainability. So all you women out there <laughs> who want to move on and start your own business, Give Cynthia Marsh Kroll a call and see what programs they have available that may be good for you and what you want to do. And thank you for coming thank you. to speak with us. We really enjoyed it. And um, if you want to become more involved in Empowering Women Everywhere, join us at Empowering Women Everywhere TV and follow us on Facebook at our and join our group. We have a group on Facebook as well. Thank you very much. And thank you. Thank you. Nan Gill, and I'm the host of Empowering Women Everywhere TV. Empowering Women Everywhere TV is a show that's designed to showcase women and men in our community that are doing an amazing job to make this world a better place. 
find out about what other people are doing. And if you have someone that you know, or if maybe you are someone that should be on our show, please contact us at empoweringwomeneverywhere.tv and let us know so that we can have you on our show. We look forward to working with you. Have a great day.